Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial in the course of MRI preprocessing techniques. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do brain extraction, also known as skull stripping. But first, what is brain extraction? It is a process to remove non-brain tissue of an image. It is useful to get an image that contains only the brain and be more efficient when doing any analysis or processing. In practical terms, the process of brain extraction is the process to create a brain mask. There are multiple methods available. Among the most popular are the FSL PET, the use of convolutional neural networks, intensity-based methods, and template-based methods. For this course, we will use a convolutional neural network method and a template-based method. I think both are the best in practical terms on performance. So with this in mind, let's start. First, we have our raw image already loaded. This is the image that we will use to extract the brain. We explore a few slices just to see how it looks like. We will start with the convolutional neural network method. The implementation we will use it is inside the library AntSpyNet. This is an extension of the AntSpy library that contains multiple pre-trained models for this purpose. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is to export the brain extraction function. We're going to execute. So by now, ignore these warnings. The function to do brain extraction, it's pretty simple. We call the brain extraction, we pass the ant image, and this will return a probability image. Each value inside contains the probability of the pixel to be part of the brain. We will later process this to get the brain mask. Now I'm going to execute the function. I speed up the video a bit. This process generates some logs. And uh, now let's inspect the probabilities generated. We print the variable and it is pretty much like other ants image. It has same information as the original one. And we just plot it to see what it is inside. This is not the final mask. Now we're going to generate the mask. We're going to use a function ants.getMask. We pass the probability image and the value of the threshold to be 0 0.5. This means every probability greater than 0 0.5 will be set to 1 and the rest will be 0. So this is the default value. If we execute, we're going to wait a few seconds and here is where we actually get the brain mask. So we're going to explore the result as a contour, and there we go. Now let's explore the results. As you can see, we have the mask that was generated, and it still limits the brain region pretty well actually. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is to save the result. We're going to generate the path in the same way as before. This time, bring mask, bring mask by DL. We're gonna call, we're gonna call the save method to save the file. And now what we're going to do is to use this mask that was generated in the previous step. And we're going to mask, we are going to mask the brain now. So we use the function mask image. We pass the raw image and the brain mask generate. We're going to save this in this variable. Mask it. We're going to execute. And here is the result. So as you can see, now the from the original image, 
we have extracted only the brain tissue. So this is the this is the output of the brain extraction step. Now we're going to proceed to save this result. We're going to call the some functions to generate the path. We're going to use the suffix brain masked by DL because we're using a convolutional neural network. We're going to generate the path. So here's where the result is saved, as you can see. And now we're going to proceed to save the result. So we call the to file method, we execute, and now the result is saved. So now you have learned how to do brain extraction using a convolutional neural network method and the AntSpyNet library. That's it by now. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.